Ikukulo no ba mulera tikun tonghit kun chonching ne boboje mata ne punage dolpi kikuana jedo ba doana ni di bobo tong na bungsha nunya tong patukas mak talaya ka chikun ida hodonga iking kuno ba mulera tikun slimo po dona rundi hodonga ku hunkabe Achuta, wonga kun bis dolpi kikuyana. Tong patugas maktelea. Like, see what you have for sale. Jedo ba doana ni di bobo. Tong nabungsha nununya. Tong patugas maktelea. Mucho shak pakat. Kiye no no nama paole rachikun. Alright, I want to actually show my sell list. Um, I want to sell. This Jedi robe. I want to sell all of these combat suits. I want to sell all these heavy combat suits. I want to sell these military suits. I want to sell this light battle armor. Um, I'm going to hold on to... What's the difference? Zabrak, Ashanti. Sell this Zabrak one. Doesn't help me. On the clothing because I don't get any money for them anyway. Booker shock sticks. Eh. I don't need these. Don't need regular vibro blades. I go ahead and like, sell most of these. I'll hold on to a couple just because I like, it's good to have them. Craft double sword, double vibro blade. Lightsabers, short lightsabers, crystals. Uh, item value 57. Like, I can get decent money for red crystals. Like, they pay pretty good for lightsabers, too. Do I need these crystals? I'm trying to think, is there, like, any reason why I actually need crystals, red crystals? I feel like I can just sell, like, five or six of these. It'd be perfectly fine here. Blaster pistols. I don't need any regular blaster pistols. I think I've got so much better stuff. Oh, casters. I don't need ion rifles. Blaster rifle. Like, I'll hold on to two just to have them, I guess. Blaster carbine. the point in having this range 25 range 28 range 28 yeah this doesn't help me disruptor rifle sonic rifle light repeating blaster does not help me basic blaster rifle is not good Nalorian assault rifle I'm gonna hold on to one of those, I guess. Uh, motion detection goggles. Interface visor. Sonic nullifiers. I feel like sonic nullifiers are kind of useless, but I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to them anyway. Sell this. Uh, Red light plating. I only need one of those just in case. Upgrade class is one. Upgrade class is one. I don't need this. Void motion sensor. I'll hold on to that. Alright. So that's everything I just sold there. Um, let me go ahead and sell a couple more crystals as well. Okay, so show the buy list. So he's got all this crap that I just sold him on top of what he already had. So Jurgen called this assault rifle. This is an upgradable range weapon. His damage against droids. Base visor. Infiltrator gloves. Would not necessarily be a bad buy. 
strength enhancer. All saves plus two and strength plus two. Very, ut very, very nice utility there. Uh, computer use demolitions, repair security. Is this? Oh, this is Kalinord's trophy kills. Uh, I don't really care. All right. Yeah. So sold off all that stuff. There was another guy on this planet that had like stuff he was selling. See. It's like out on the plains, I think. Alright, Nice. Cassus Fett's battle armor. Pretty sure that that's one of the best items in the game. I thought somebody on this planet was selling a blaster rifle, but I don't see it. This is like really, really nice. But I don't have enough money to afford it. I don't know that I ever will have enough money to afford it. It's whatever though. I probably should have played out the guy uh, that had the Pazak deck back on uh, Kashik before I like wrecked the Zerka compound. But whatever. It is what it is. So, we're done here. What's next? Planet is next. Actually, I want to talk to T. I want to talk to some people. Let's talk to people. You don't talk much, do you? Just chime in if you ever have any advice, man. Alright. T3 doesn't talk much. A very untalkative untalkative droid. What else is around? Candors. Let's talk to Candors. Yeah, what do you want? Wondering if you had any more war stories. I was one of the best youth warriors in the clan Ordo in my time. No one before me had mastered the power of our basilisk war droids as quickly as I had. Except Mandalore himself, of course. In those days, we were sweeping across the Outer Rim, destroying all who fought us. Young Mandalores would prove themselves in real combat with unknown opponents above a thousand worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements. What was your story? I remember it well, orbiting high above a placid world, its defenses just stirring. As was tradition, I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor, linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath me, my heart racing with fear of the coming battle. I didn't think Mandalorians were afraid. Every new warrior has to fear to understand how to beat it. You must know that. The doors opened in front of me, and the air was sucked out of the drop base, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. When the magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, 
I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. You dropped from orbit, riding a droid. The exhilaration, the euphoria I felt as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and beam weapons, was unmatched. An 80-kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. That was some fight, man. I'll never forget those times. But things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now. But I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I've satisfied your curiosity for now. Is there something else you want to know? No, nothing more. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. That was a really freaking impressive story, actually. Alright, so here's Jolie. I don't really want to talk to Jolie right now. Let's just go ahead and get off this rock. Alright, what's next? Kashik, already been there. Yavin, Korriban, Manon, Tatooine. Yavin, Tatooine. Yavin. Yavin or Tatooine? Go Tatooine. Go Tatooine next. More funny dreams. More funny dreams. It's that concussion acting up again, guys. It's that concussion acting up. That was some kind of cave. That was some kind of cave. Maybe we can hide there from the sandstorm. What's the cruiser? From uh, a new hope. Holy crap, man. A lot of these older public creatures look the same. Another vision. The Force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps of Malak and his old master, leading us ever closer to the Star Forge. Tatooine is known for little but blowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. Like it was in some kind of cave. The star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. I suspect there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. All right, let's get moving. Who do I want to take with me? Um, Bastila and I actually want to bring Karth with me this time. Let's take Bastila and Karth with me. Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Zerka Corporation stands ready to serve, after some formalities, of course. First, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits because of this. What do I get for my 100 credits? The immediate benefit is access to these very docking facilities. This is the only port in Anchorhead. Once you've paid, we will offer trade services as well. 
We're not unreasonable. We just want to cover expenses. I don't think I need you to know, pay the fee. You know, I don't think you need to pay the fee. We'll let it go this time. Like this, this will cover any future landings as well. It's like a registration, so we can serve you better when you return. Now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. Is this visit business or pleasure? Give me some background on Tatooine. There isn't much to tell. It's a very old planet, well past its prime. Zerka Corporation is the only company with any interest in it. It's not a very pretty world, but there is opportunity here if you know where to look. Oh really? Tell me about Zerka's operations here. I can't really get into that. It hasn't been a very smooth operation. I shouldn't get into it. Come on, friend. Let me in on the details. No, uh, it's common knowledge, so there's no harm in telling you. It's a tale of bad business. You see, Zerka Corporation staked their claim to this planet based on some very promising geological surveys. Unfortunately, that information was incorrect, and possibly even a, an attempt at sabotage by a rival company. Okay. What's known about the history of the planet? Very little. There are hints that it might once have been a lush world, but I can't picture it as anything but a desert. Native sentient species have no records going back that far. That was hundreds of years ago, maybe thousands. Of course, the native species are not very willing to tell anyone anything. They're barely more than animals. Species are you referring to? The sand people. They're vicious and attack outsiders on sight. More animal than anything, really. Maybe they know the history of Tatooine. Maybe they don't. Impossible to tell. They won't cooperate. Have you had trouble with them? Not personally, but they've given Zerka Corporation a rough time. It's hard enough mining this rock without suffering random attacks. I think the company has even put a bounty on them. But I'm sure not going to try for it. Where can I get information about jobs like that? It depends on what level of risk you want to take. You could ask at the Zerka office if any bounties need collecting. That's in the central anchor head. While you're at the office, ask for a hunting license so you can sell trophies to Faza in his lodge, just north of them. I suppose you could also take up swoop racing. Talk to the hut at the registration office by the track. That's in West Anchorhead. I can't say I know which of these jobs is the most dangerous. I stay away from all of them. All right. Thanks, man. I need to get going, though. As you wish. If you need anything else, I'll be here. All right. That was cool. Useful. Very useful. Add a mosey around here. See what's right for the taking. Med packs. Always happy to loot some med packs. The foot locker over here. Okay. Um, what shipment was that? Excuse me, did you say Gizgas? Great. 
unloaded something onto my ship that apparently escaped. Oh, jeez. I don't know that I want to go back in there and, like, see what's going on with that. So I'm just gonna ignore it for right now. <laughs> 